Alright, hello citizens of the Nigerverse. It's Nashi once again, and this is going to be another wrestling review. So, oh, uh, this is it. This is the last, uh, at least, wrestling review that we have for the year of 2023. And what a year it's been uh, for uh, 2023 wrestling reviews. And I wasn't sure what to end the year off on, uh, but I decided, you know what, I haven't done enough TNA reviews. I'm going to sneak in one last one. Uh, before the year's over, and thankfully I picked a really good one. And uh, it's time to look at at what happens when the Samoan submission machine Samoa Joe meets up with not just Kurt Angle but Perk Angle. Well, I, I'm of course talking about Lockdown 2008 uh, as uh, Kurt Angle defends the TNA World Championship against uh, Samoa Joe. Oh, uh, so. As always, of course, I'm not professional, not professional wrestling reviewer or analyst or anything like that. Just a man who enjoys a good time, and I had a pretty solid time with this match, like watching this match. This match, uh, match um, considered one of a lot of people's favorite matches in TNA, and we are going to find out why. Plus, like the the concept of, of this match and. Um, and by concept, I mean what they're able to do in this match is something that a match this year, like this this year, present year 2023, tried and failed to do. And uh, if you've seen the match, you probably know exactly what match I am talking about. But obviously, we'll get into that. So, uh, if you, so uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. So, starting with what I love. Um, like, uh, for starters, it was, it was pretty funny, and I'm uh, pulling up the article on it so I can have it for reference in here, but, um, but, uh, uh, right off the bat, one of the funny things immediately is, not even, uh, the match, so, but in the beginning, when they're doing the intros, Kurt Angle had, well, sees, uh, Karen Angle, uh, this is, uh, before she became Karen Jarrett, before she got, you know, married to Jeff Jarrett and everything, uh, just chilling at ringside to support her husband. And, and Kurt Angle pretty much gives her the Christian Cage treatment, uh, and uh, what he did to his, uh, or that one episode of Dynamite, a, uh, or not, not Dynamite, but Collision, where he's like, nope, nope, you, you, uh, scared to get, get her out of here, like, I, uh, like, it does play into the match because, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the build-up to this is that Kurt Angle's very laser-focused, very focused, wants to take down Samoa Joe, can't have any distractions, so, oh, Karen, yep, you, you gotta, you, you gotta go, bye, Karen, and, and, uh, not too happy, she's not too happy about it, but then we get into the match proper, or, and, a uh, really fantastic match, like, I, um, the thing is, uh, both, both these guys, he's definitely match in intensity, and, uh, it makes for a fun match, and uh, it has the cage surrounding it, and this match goes kind of the MMA style, but still able to keep things exciting, in which is what, it, I, I get the feeling that this match, with this match accomplished, is, is what Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler both, both should have been, and wanted to be, because the thing is, they have the cage, and Kurt Angle's even dressed up, uh, uh, very MMA-like, he's got, like, the shorts, first he's got the, uh, he's got, like, the wrist tape, and he's got, like, the ankle tape, uh, meanwhile, uh, Samoa Joe does, of course, he usually has the wrist tape, but, um, but dressed in his regular gear, but Kurt Angle, no singlet this time, I'm, um, and the shorts and the tape and everything, and so wanting to go that style, and there's a lot of strikes and grapples and holds and submissions, but they make it look really good, and there is an intensity about it, and, and I, it, excuse me, and like I said, it's what Ronda Rousey for Shayna Baszler should have been, could have been, and and I can definitely tell wanted to be. And so why did, did that match go? Why did that match go horribly wrong? But then this match. Uh, Angle and Joe go right. Uh, well, for starters, people liked both Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. Oh, um, shoot, take the top off. But, and, uh, but both uh, people liked both Kurt Angle and Samoa Joe. Oh, so that definitely helped. Although people do like Shane Baszler, Ronda Rousey. <clears throat> but uh, nevertheless, that's a lot of people liked them, so they were definitely electric for them. But. But, um, but the, but like I said, going back to that intensity, that's really the name of the game here when it comes to the match, is the intensity of them going after each other, really fighting, uh, really giving it that big fight feel, and, and it's the main event, so it, 
they should have that big fight feel. As for the world championship, and I believe this is the match where uh, some, where the stipulation was if Samojo didn't win the match, he would retire. Or uh, I believe it was this match. I could be totally wrong about that, but but yeah. So oh uh oh so oh. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, so I'm looking at the uh, article here, and, and yeah, this is the match where Samojo lost, uh, he, uh, he would retire, which, it, uh, in that case, that adds even more stakes to it, but uh, them really going after each other, really getting physical with each other with the slams and grapples and hold, holds and uh, submissions and everything, including, like, a, a moment where uh, Samojo had, like, the submission kind of, go what I call, like, a submission gauntlet on angle, where... Uh, it started with the power bomb, and then the Boston Crab. Then he transitioned into the Lion Tamer. They they still called it the Boston Crab, but I guess because of copyright or whatever, they couldn't really call it the Lion Tamer. Or, of course, this was 08, so Jericho was back in WWE at this time, so I guess it makes sense why. But uh, pretty much transitioning to the Lion Tamer. Then the STF, which uh, Samoa Joe has a very beautiful STF, of course. First, uh, then Angle getting his ankle lock in, and then uh, and Samoa Joe countering that uh, into the uh, into the sleeper hole, aka the Coquina Clutch. Uh, so, oh yeah, so that uh, so that. Um, so, submission after submission after submission. Moments like that, and, and Samojo, ultimately what he wins it with being the muscle buster, which, it, uh, it's a core horse, very devastating move, but, uh, yeah, so, so uh, that, that intensity, that, that going after each other, that, that big fight feel, that feeling of a fight, that feeling of danger, not just with the cage uh, surrounding them, so that they have theoretically nowhere to go, but uh, then also, oh, the intensity in uh, the cage is what really helps sell it. Uh, meanwhile, Rousey and ba Hazler or sadly had no such luxury. Like, I thought, like, going into it, when they said MMA rules, I thought it was going to be they bring out a cage, age, uh, but nope, they just did it in the ring, and it sadly wasn't as interesting. And they did try to do the MMA thing, and, uh, but sadly, it wasn't exciting, and the crowd didn't care for it. But this match, I think, proves that, which is why when a lot of people said, like, that type of format doesn't work, I do kind of disagree, because A, a uh, there's a reason MMA is popular, um, especially here in in the uh, United States. Uh, it's, uh, B, he, there is, at, to a degree, some level of crossover appeal between MMA and uh, and pro wrestling, and which is why you have people like Ronda Rousey or Ken Shamrock or De and Severn or, 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 or even, to an extent, guys like Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley who uh, did wrestling with that MMA then back to wrestling. Like, like, so there is, is some level of crossover appeal, but there is, is still some excitement because... And, and uh, obviously so, because it is a very, like, p people do, there are, are genuine fans of MMA, there are people who do show up uh, for MMA, hey, we know that, because some of them, and some of the extremists, that is, do try to argue with the wrestling fans, but, and, but I would say the format that could work, like, the format of having a, um, of having a MMA style match, or at least some MMA influence in a match, I think could work. Uh, like another example I could give is like the fight pit between like Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins, or like Matt Riddle and Timothy Thatcher, or or, um, or I think Timothy Thatcher and Samasa Champa on a fight pit as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but but uh, yeah, stuff like that. And so that kind of MMA format could work, and we see that at here just make it exciting, and they definitely made it. It's uh, made it. It's <laughs> I cannot talk, uh, but they definitely made it exciting and within the confines of this match. He really fell for it. Like, hey, uh, hey, uh, Angle got his stuff in, Samoa Joe got his stuff in, and uh, one and didn't really get too much more in on the other, at least from what I was able to tell. Both were uh, relatively evenly matched, and both looked really, really strong going after each other, and uh, the moment where Samoa Joe wins is a uh, pretty awesome moment, especially the fact that he doesn't have to retire, so I think I mean, the match type could work. You just gotta make it interesting, and uh, Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle definitely made it interesting. And, um, and, and they very rarely use the cage. The cage only maybe got used like once or twice, at least in terms of, of uh, as a weapon where, you know, they bounce them off the cage, which, which admittedly, sometimes they can do a little bit too much uh, in matches, and it doesn't really pay off as well, but uh, Samoa Joe throwing Kurt Angle into the cage once, I think, um...
excuse me, really helped elevate that, and it was more about uh, what was inside the ring, more about the action between the two, as opposed to having to use the cage as like a crutch. Like, the cage wasn't a crutch. The cage was just an addition, but it was really about what was inside the ring. And I think that had, uh, allows it to work. Or maybe Ron and Rousey Shane Baylor just needed a cage. Um, maybe that that's the same way, because I just realized, like, the fight pit and everything, and uh, all cage-like structures. So, uh, I guess, so I guess it works there. Maybe maybe that's the missing ingredient. Maybe that's the secret ingredient that they just needed a cage. But, but this shows you can have uh, that type of match. And imagine, really, it wasn't fully built, built as an MMA-type match. Uh, which I think also helps elevate it it's where they're not completely confined to that where they were able to use the uh, wrestling moves and stuff uh, as well and they did use moves like obviously the aforementioned muscle buster and uh, the power and the power bomb and, and the transition and or the angle slam we, we saw uh, a couple of those from Kurt Angle so I think those can work in that regard or like if it's not fully constrained so you just have to do MMA stuff I think it also works on that front but otherwise yeah so I think it can be pulled off you just gotta you just gotta make it interesting and really that's any match but match, but especially the an MMA match so I don't think I fully co-signed with it being doomed to fail a Rousey versus Baser match uh, at least with an MMA bet I can, uh, maybe that's just me. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if I did have to find some things to nitpick about the match, uh, why was there er, counts and rope breaks ace and you have to break the holes in a cage match? Like, like that never made sense to me. It's not the first time. It's not, it wasn't the last time. But uh, like, a theoretically, cage match should be no disqualification, and you're not gonna have a disqualification. And or like a stoppage or like, like a call off, like call off the match in a cage. They've tried and they failed at it, but you're not, you're theoretically not gonna have that in a cage match. It's a cage match, like hey, it's a six sided cage match. But and, um, but yeah, you're theoretically not gonna have that. And, and and it does add to some spots though, such as like when Kurt Angle grabbed the referee's shirt and hurt for leverage to try to get to the ropes to force a break, but. Why is that break being forced? It's supposed to be a cage match. It's like it's not supposed to be disqualification. Like, like it's a, it's a it's a cage match. It's it's a cage match. Like like I said, not the first, not not the last where those such rules have been enforced. But yeah, it's just it's really weird. And and uh, admittedly, he uh, he this will kind of contradict the point I made earlier. But uh, them not using the cage. Like and on one hand, it is good restraint not using the cage. Age, uh, each for a lost spot and not over relying on it. But on the other hand, that does mean that theoretically this match probably could, probably didn't really, he, you could almost say it didn't need the K H um, or so. Like, you could just have, like, a, it, you could just have the match in the regular ring and uh, the cage wasn't fully necessary he, uh, as it didn't, and, um, it didn't add to too many spots. Like it only added, like the cage itself only added to one or two spots. Uh, but otherwise, it wasn't really super necessary. But otherwise, those are just more so kind of nitpicks. Still, a really solid match. So uh, go check out the match. It's uh, it's in full on YouTube. And man, I am when it comes to YouTube, I am definitely lucking out when it comes to reviewing TNA matches. But I know oh, uh, when it comes to certain matches. Is if I want to look at the on TNA, my luck may 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 not run out, but uh, yeah, um, but yeah, definitely uh, go check this match out. I definitely do recommend it. But nevertheless, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor: like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, turn on post notifications so you know every, every time I upload a video, so you can see as soon as it drops. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the match and my review. Did you like this? Like the match? Did you like this? Like my review of the match? Let me know. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.